Now there's going to be a bit of a pre-introduction to our next speaker. In July of 1776, a brave group of rebels decided they had enough of the enormous tyranny. Patriots who founded this nation were rebelling from the idea that had dominated world history up until their revolution. That one king should rule over one giant poor civilization. You see, kings have always maintained their power by deceiving the poor. The poor cry out, how will we eat? And the king's solution is always the same. Let us tax the rich. And the rich get poorer. And the poor get poorer. And the only one who gets rich is the king. This was the society that our forefathers declared independence from in 1776. They wrote a constitution that would limit the power of the king. They created a marketplace that was free because nothing spreads true wealth like competition. And it was by no accident that these ideas created the wealthiest society the world has ever known. It was the free market that created the automobile, the airplane, the air conditioner. It was the free market that created the very device that you're watching this video on. Only capitalism can provide the upward mobility for the meekest among us to break the shackles of poverty and rise into the middle class. This is what we call the American dream. The Republicans have always been the champions of capitalism. But in recent history, we've done a terrible job of articulating these values to a new audience. The truth is, today, black Americans know very little about the Republican Party. Republicans have spent too long cowering behind closed doors and acting ashamed of the very values that made America the shining city on the hill. Today, I'm happy to announce that I've been asked to serve as the honorary chairman of the Free at Last PAC because I believe the Republican Party has conceded the black vote for long enough. All right. Yeah. Despite the fact that the values of the Republican Party far better represent the values of the black community. These are family, prayer, less taxes, better schools, empowering small businesses, gun ownership. The Free At Last Pact will reach into the black community and articulate those values that fuel the American dream. We will be silent no more. And we will also recruit black Republicans to run for higher office because Democrat leadership has failed to the black community. Truth is in the may be rioted, but in the end, there it is. I promise you that one day it will be impossible for black Americans to deny the truth about this liberal nanny state. Because in the near future, a government that spends three dollars for every two it takes in will go bankrupt. And the grocery store will say no thank you to those food stamps. The Medicaid card won't work at the emergency room. And those welfare checks won't cash. It is my solid hope and the hope of millions just like you that the black community can come to grips with the truth now before it's too late while we can still save ourselves after all what was god's plan for our people is this why god delivered us from the wilderness of slavery so that able-bodied men could sit on the porch all day drinking liquor was it god's plan that we would merely trade one plantation for another people have been too afraid to speak truth to power but i'm not afraid wake up my brothers and sisters of the American community. Liberalism has nearly destroyed black America, and now it's time for black America to return the favor. And God is here. chillier here than it is in Louisiana, <laughs> but I'm comfortable because I wore my longies. <laughs> Six months ago, I was a conservative Democrat, <clears throat> serving in the Louisiana legislature in the Senate, 
And I was very happy there. There was just one problem, and that is I didn't fit the Democrat Party, and the Democrat Party did not fit me. So I moved to a new political home, one where the values were more consistent with the values of my parents, my grandparents, my church, my community, and my heart. To explain that switch, I, I made a video just to explain why I made the switch to folks back home, and suddenly, Things just went wild. It shows that God has a sense of humor. So suddenly I'm standing in New Hampshire. Welcome. And it is great to be in the land of granite, rock solid conservatives people who have not succumbed to the culture of being laid back, just send me mine once a month, that culture that is tsunamiing over America. And yes, I know that there's no such word in English language as tsunamiing, <laughs> despite the fact that I'm from uh, the bayous of Louisiana. I do speak English. <laughs> I'm from the uh, French Cajun country in, in Louisiana. Uh, now I know that you're gonna rush out, get to your maps to see exactly where is that place, but fear not, I brought my uh, PowerPoint map of Louisiana with me. <laughs> I, you know, some of us who are a little older, not part of the computer age, and I, I know that you, uh, you don't think that we're technologically sophisticated, but let me get my PowerPoint map of Louisiana. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the map of state of Louisiana. <laughs> New Orleans right here. This is Lake Charles, <laughs> Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> Arkansas here, and this is Acadiana. This is that area that's called Cajun Land. <laughs> Opelousas, my hometown, where my mom was born, and Wartell, Louisiana, where my dad was born, seven miles apart. If you let me put my <clears throat> PowerPoint away. <laughs> This is a Republican PowerPoint, it does double duty. <laughs> my parents uh, were teachers. My dad died at 102. Mom is still alive at 104. But they were teachers. And even I spent a year on the faculty at Rutgers Law School. So teaching runs deep in my veins. Tonight I've come to do, to, to this afternoon rather, I've come to do what teachers do. And that is to grade the performance of the President of the United States. <laughs> I've chosen several categories each relating to America's ability to deliver the American dream. I call it the American Dream Report Card. I have it right here. Let's look at justice first. Crop tape. 